Hey guys, so plenty of e-commerce brand owners have started using ChatGPT to create content for their brand because it helps them save time and it turns out pretty high quality content. But I've also been hearing recently that a lot of people are not getting good, consistent, high quality output from the AI. So I thought I would make this video to demonstrate the wrong way to use ChatGPT for e-commerce and contrast that with the right way to do it. So for this video, we're gonna use the example of creating a product description using ChatGPT. So first, let me give you an example of the wrong way to use ChatGPT to write a product description for your brand. Let's say you were selling a cooler on your website. I'm gonna use 50 words just for the sake of brevity for this video, and there you go. So you can see I do get a response from ChatGPT. So why isn't this working? Well, let me first say that it kind of is, right? I mean, I'm getting a product description here. It's written well, it's easy to read. Um, it mentions some potentially good features, but there are some obvious problems with this paragraph. First of all, it made up a brand name called the Chill X Cooler, which I cannot endorse. And second, it sort of made up some features to highlight for this product description as well. So these are obviously not specific to any real business that I am running. And so that is the main point of this video is that AI needs context. So let's talk about ChatGPT, what is it? It's a large language model. So it's something that's been trained on massive amounts of data from across the internet. Websites like Wikipedia, for example, have just been fed into this gigantic AI machine. And it's just going to synthesize that data based on your inputs and try to give you something back that satisfies the request that you've made. So if you don't give it enough context, it has way too much background data source material to work with to try to answer your question. And if you need any evidence for the fact that the AI should be trained, just go to Indeed and type in prompt engineer. Tons of companies are hiring people and paying them six figures to become prompt engineers or people who sit around and basically perfect these little prompts for the AI. So practically speaking, what does this mean for your e-commerce brand? Well, I think you need to give the AI three things in order for it to be successful. Number one, you need to give it a role. You need to give it keyword infused details. And number three, you need to give it clear instructions. If you do these three things, then you're gonna be using the AI in the right way and you're gonna get a much more consistent and reliably high quality result when you're writing something like a product description using AI. So let me give you an example. Let's say I was selling this cooler product. It's something I've been using as an example in a lot of my videos lately, so let's just keep rolling with it and head it back over to ChatGPT and let's try this again by giving the AI these three things that I mentioned. First, we're gonna to wanna to give it a role. So I'm gonna say, pretend you are a digital marketing expert. Let's see if I can spell those words right, that would help. Let's say, and a camping expert, since I'm selling this product to campers. See, so I've given the AI a role to fit into. This is giving it that first layer of context so that it, when it's looking at all of its source data that it's gonna use to compile a response, it knows where to start looking, if that makes sense. Now, number two, we wanna uh, provide it with keyword infused details, like I mentioned. So I'm gonna say, All right, I'm also gonna give it my brand name. I don't want it to use Chill X Cooler, so. Let's say My Solar Camp. And the key features of the cooler, still going here. Boom, okay, so you can see here how I've added tons of keyword infused details, right? These are things that I know that my customers are gonna resonate with. They might be searching for these things. They might be looking for these features when it comes to my product. So if I give the AI this detail, it's going to sort of parrot this back to me and put it into a, the format of a really nice product description. Now, finally, the last thing we wanna give it is clear instructions. So I'm gonna say, write a product description. 
for this product, use an energetic tone. You always wanna specify the writing style or tone that the AI should use. And I'm gonna say, make the description about, again, let's just, let's say 75 words this time. And I'm gonna click send and here it goes. Introducing the Solar Camp Cooler, your energized adventure buddy. Get ready to revolutionize your camping experience with the Solar Camp Cooler from My Solar Camp. Powered by the sun, this high capacity cooler keeps your drinks and snacks chilled while you soak up the great outdoors, etc., etc. You can see how this is going. Pause the video, read the description. It's awesome. And so you can see how I get a much better result that's tailored to my brand when I give the AI tons of context in the form of a role, keyword infused details, and clear instructions. Now, hopefully this is helpful for you as you seek to continue using ChatGPT for your e-commerce brand, but there's one more thing I wanted to show you and it's kind of a shortcut because, you know, there's a lot of detail under the hood here that you might not remember after this video. So I'm gonna show you an app that I developed. It's called Boardroom. I know, I know, shameless promotion alert. But this app that we've developed connects in with both your Shopify store and ChatGPT. So we've been testing these prompts in the background and we believe that we've perfected them. And so all you have to do is fill out these little questionnaires that we've inserted into our product. We will engineer the prompt for you. We will send it off to ChatGPT and we'll return right into the app a product description for your brand, which you can then publish directly to your store because you're connected to Shopify through the Boardroom app. So let me just paste in my responses from the last example here into Boardroom and we can see how this works. And let's add 75 words and click generate. All right, I'm gonna slide this up while it's drafting it. Usually it doesn't take very long. Boom, there you go. We get a similar product description. It's never gonna be the same every time from ChatGPT. And we also give you an editor here in Boardroom. So we know it's not gonna be perfect 100% of the time. So we let you add you know, formatting. You can change up the text. You can add images if you need to. You can add videos. Whatever you gotta do to make this thing perfect. Save your changes when you're ready, and then just simply click this publish button, choose your store, choose your product, and you'll see that this will be published directly onto your online store pretty much instantly. And we even give you a little link here where you can open the product. I'm not really selling this product, so I'm not gonna click the link, but it's gonna be a different product there. So hopefully this is a good little demo of how Boardroom works and how this can be a huge time saver by first of all, engineering your prompts for you. Second of all, we give you an editor so you don't have to copy and paste from one place to another. And we let you publish it directly into Shopify so it's as seamless of a workflow as possible. Hopefully you thought this video was helpful and that the Boardroom app looks cool. If you thought so, try it out. It's free for two weeks and uh, pretty affordable after that, in my opinion. So uh, my name is Charlie from Boardroom. Please uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe to follow along. We're gonna be posting weekly videos with different types of e-commerce and digital marketing tips. Thanks for watching.